things that go bump in the night. What the Jesus? Me, jerk. Shh, Sam B. Okay. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, put your style gators in the swamp. Red light. When you put in Dead Island for the first time, you know exactly what to expect. Zombies, zombies, and more zombies. So knowing this going in, if you're not big into survival horror and zombies, stay far away from Dead Island. But if this is your thing, there's no better bang for your buck than this zombie slaughter fest. You'll get to control one of four characters who specialize in different types of weapons. Go with the drug-riddled ex-quarterback. I used to be on top of the world, brother. All pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in 2004. <laughs> Man, I beat out Dennis Quaid. Matthew McConaughey, for Christ's sake. The Australian assassin. I hate rich assholes, which is <laughs> ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. The Chinese lady, who doesn't really have a compelling backstory. My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Even though he died when I was 10, I remember him very well. Or one badass mother <laughs> grew up in Norris, lower ninth woke. My daddy went to prison when I was two. That's where he died. I can go. Mama didn't never recover from there. Right after that, you're in the action and start cooped up within a bungalow, saved by an Australian lifeguard who has a Mike Tyson face tattoo. From there on, it's time to go zombie killing. Now the best part about Dead Island is that the player picks how the game plays out. Quests are available from the get-go and allow you to try new difficulties, explore new areas, and test your limits by getting into some really sticky situations. The only downside of this is that you're bound to get in over your head. This would be really rough if there were any downside to dying. Turns out there really isn't. You lose some cash, start off where you were when you got wasted, and resume the slaughter. Dead Island exists for online players. The campaign will get boring for even the biggest undead fan out there. You can only get mauled and break paddles overheads for so long without going insane yourself. And for a 30 hour game, that's asking quite a bit. Online gamers need to pick up Dead Island, as it's an adrenaline rush that blows Left 4 Dead out of the water. Zombie fans need to pick it up because there are more zombies here than people who live in Australia in the first place. Mike Tyson fans have to get it because of that guy. But everybody else? Everybody else has to go play Dead Rising. Go play Dead Rising because we love Frank West. I've covered wars, you know. 